you have found Denim Creations. Welcome! It's a program about reusing, recycling, and upcycling denim. If you're the kind of person that likes crafting, sewing, and learning, you've found the right spot. Here I am. Each episode will include some item that I have made by sewing, crafting, or reusing. I'm Martha. I'm the lead designer for this channel. Today's episode, Pillows and More, is finishing up episode one about pillows. I'm going to show you another couple of pillows that I made and tell you how to shop for pillows to to get them for the lowest price and I'm going to show you some beautiful flowers. Keep watching! This is my happy place, my kitchen. Many of my crafts and projects are completed here. And let's take a breath of fresh air and look at these beautiful flowers. They came out of my yard this week and I love them. You're going to see pillows on this channel. Today I'm doing a follow-up of the pillows that I've been making. So I'm calling this Pillows Part 2 and more. This is a, some of my denim stash. And I'm just showing that I made the back of the pillow flap like a a sham. When you buy pillows, buy ugly. Clean and ugly are the cheapest. And there's lots of them around. I paid 99 cents for this pillow and I'm using it today and I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. I'm just showing you that you make the back so that it has a slit up the back. Now you don't want that to show and I close it up and show you it's not going to show but it's going to be an opening so you can put your pillow insert in there. And this is how the finished product turns out and I think it's very timely. Now here's another example of an ugly pillow although you could use this one with the black and white theme. And then I'm showing you that the pillow cover that I have for this uh, flaps over and that's what you want from a pillow cover. Two tips for frugal living. You can use clippings left over from when people are sewing. Some people save those. Uh, they give them to me. We usually make dog beds with them. And they also give me clippings left over from a person that has a quilting business. So always be on the and lookout the craft for room free again today, and I'm supplies. working on a simple pot holder. I was given these rounded pieces of batting already cut out. Evidently somebody was working on this project and put it in a bag and gave it away. And sometimes I get those giveaways, which I love to do. I decided I want my pot holder to be rather thick. So I'm using five, I think, five of these uh, cutouts. And of course I want it to have denim. And I'm thinking Christmas. I think Christmas would be fun. So again, right sides together. I'm going to sew the right sides together. I'm going to go ahead and include the batting as I sew. And then I'll just need to leave a little bit of opening so I can turn it. And then I'll sew the ends together. And I'll have a nice pot holder. So let's get a sewing. Go slowly. Turn as you go. And leave an opening. Because you're going to need to turn your insides out. Okay, let's keep going. Keep us on. This is my finished product. You can see I added a denim heart, and you could do that too, or any, any addition you would like to make. Okay, keep watching. I'm going to show you how to deal with a four square pattern. I was at the end of my other video, and I just got so tired I couldn't finish out. But this is that um, pillow finished, and I'm just letting you know to be sure you clip those corner edges because if you don't it won't fold up nice and neatly like that and that's what you want of your corner edges. Now one other thing that was in that stash of fabric that somebody gave me were these pieces that's actually a four, four square again but that's just an inch and a half so that's three inches total 
So I just made some coasters out of that. And there was another quilt pattern there too, and I used it and made some coasters. Now the next video I have coming up, it's all about covering boxes. You've really got to see it. It's going to be uh, lesson number 10. And this is Josh. He's my personal assistant. He's the one that sings the song, Lessons Learned. Now's the time for me to ask you to like, subscribe, and view. I need lots more views, folks. I hope you'll help me out. Come back again. Join me in my kitchen. We're going to be making some beautiful covered boxes tomorrow. February the 28th. Whatever holds me.